Here with me now is somebody who knows a thing or two about going his own way, independent Senator Bernie Sanders of Vermont. Senator, uh, first, you are an independent. She is now the third official independent of the U.S. Senate, uh, joining you and Angus King of Maine. What do you think of her decision and also what you just heard in her interview with Jake? I don't want to spend a whole lot of time uh, on Senator Sinema. She has her reasons. Uh, Donna, I happen to suspect that it's probably a lot to do uh, with politics back in Arizona. I think uh, the Democrats there are not all that enthusiastic about somebody who helps sabotage some of the most important legislation that protects the interests uh, of working families and voting rights and, and so forth. So I think it really has to do with her uh, political aspirations uh, for the future in Arizona. But for us, I think nothing much has changed in terms of the functioning of the U.S. Senate. The good news is that we now have uh, 51 votes. We'll have a majority on committees. It means that we can go forward and start protecting the interests of working families and deal with the reality that we are increasingly living in an oligarchy uh, where the billionaire class and large corporations uh, control almost every aspect okay. of our country. So I would hope very much that with this new majority, Democrats will sit down and start fighting for the needs of ordinary Americans. So I want to talk about some of those issues in a second. But first, you, know, you were a very important figure on the campaign trail for progressives ahead of the midterms, as you normally are. I'm sure you're going to be campaigning for candidates in 2024. The outgoing Arizona Democratic Party official, uh, one of them says that he expects Democrats will run their own candidate against her. Is that a good idea? Would you support a Democratic opponent against Senator Sinema? I, I don't. I support progressive candidates all over this country, people who have the guts to take on powerful special interests. I don't know what's going to be happening in Arizona. We'll see who they nominate, but certainly that's something I will take a hard look at. Does she have the guts to take on powerful special interests? No, she doesn't. She is a corporate Democrat uh, who has, in fact, along with Senator Manchin, sabotaged enormously important legislation. I want to talk about a major deadline to fund the government, and that is Friday. There's still no deal. Would you support another...